In this video, I'll be showing you guys how to drag click. Many people have trouble with the basics for learning how to drag click, so hopefully this video will help you out. If you didn't know already, drag clicking is basically an insane clicking method that helps you to achieve a high amount of CPS with very little effort. Drag clicking is mostly used for bridging methods such as cloud bridging or tele bridging, but it's also used for block clutching or just placing a lot of blocks at once. So today I'll explain the requirements for drag clicking, how to short and long drag, the best tapes for drag clicking, the best grip, and finally some useful tips at the end. I also recommend you to watch the whole entire video because every step is very important for learning how to drag click. If any questions do pop up to you during the video, don't mind to drop a comment down below. Anyways, let's get right on with the video. To keep things simple, the only requirement you'll need for drag clicking is a mouse that can double click. You can test if your mouse can double click by tapping at the edge of your mouse to see if you'll register 2 CPS. If your mouse can register the double click, then you should be ready to go. But if it doesn't work for you, I have a few tips that could help. The first tip is to click your mouse a lot. By doing this, you're making the switches easier to click on, which will soon help your mouse to register a double click. I can confirm that this step works because I have an office mouse that can sometimes double click. All I did to make this mouse double click was to click very hard on it almost every single day. And soon enough it started to double click because the switches got looser. The second step for getting more double clicks is by checking if your mouse's software has an adjustable debounce timer. Some softwares may have sliders and others may have zero debounce features. I would definitely recommend you to check if your software has any of these features. If your software does have a zero debounce feature then just turn it on and you should be ready to go. But if you have a slider then just slide it to make it as low as possible. This could really help you to achieve those extra needed double clicks for drag clicking. The third step that I recommend you to do is to watch some tutorials on double clicking. On YouTube you can find many great tutorials which could probably help you to double click. Finally, if none of the three steps work for you then I'll suggest you to buy a new drag clicking mouse if you have the budget to. The most popular double clicking mice are usually from Glorious, Rokat, and Bloody. I already have a few videos on the best drag clicking mice so if you're interested in getting one, don't mind to check them out which will be linked in the description below. But if those mice are out of your budget, then there are all these office mice that will be displayed on the screen that could also be an alternative option. They can all drag click well and they've even been tested by other YouTubers. So if you don't have the budget to buy one of the expensive gaming mice, just buy one of these office mice which should cost you very less. But just keep in mind that those mice suck for gaming and anything else in general. So there are two different ways that you can drag click. The first one is short dragging and the second one is long dragging. For this part of the video, I'll start off with short drag clicking. Short dragging is usually used for bridging methods such as god bridging or moonwalking. Short dragging is basically when you take the tip of your finger and drag it across the top end of your mouse. To short drag, there are three different ways that you can do it. The first way is to not hold your mouse at all, which is the easiest, but you have no control over your mouse. And if you have a light mouse like the Glorious Model O, it's almost impossible to keep it still. There are many ways to make your mouse not move such as putting tape at the bottom of your mouse feet, but it isn't as efficient. The second way to short drag is by putting the back of your palm to the back of your mouse. A lot of people like to do this because it helps to keep their mouse in control when they short drag. Another benefit of this method is that it also gets the same amount of CPS as if you were to do it while you're not holding your mouse. The third and best way to do it is by holding your mouse. The reason for why this is the best way to do it is because it gives you the most amount of CPS and it also gives you the best possible grip so that your mouse will not move. Now note that this method is a bit harder to learn than the first two but if you can master this way then it will be much more efficient and it will help you to get the highest amount of CPS. I will now place a few clips of how each short drag clicking method works. Just as a quick side note, keep in mind that all mice have a different sweet spot for where they can get more CPS. For this, I recommend you to keep testing it out because the sweet spot could be anywhere around your mouse. Most mice have a sweet spot at the edge of their mouse button, but sometimes it might not be there. An easy way to find out where it is is by looking up your mouse on YouTube. There may be a few videos that could help you to figure out where your sweet spot is. For this part of the video, I'll be showing you guys how to long drag. Long dragging is mostly used for telebridging, clutching, and placing a lot of blocks at once. To long drag, you're going to want to put your pinky and your ring finger at the right side of the mouse while your thumb at the left side of the mouse. This grip allows you to move your mouse around when you drag click. You're then going to want to drag your finger from the back of your mouse to the front of your mouse. Try to start all the way from the end of the mouse button for the most amount of CPS. 
On the model though, there are these honeycomb holes so starting a bit in front of them should help you to get more CPS. But for any other mouse that has no honeycomb holes, you should start from all the way from the back. At the start, many people have trouble with good timing for long dragging as it is slower to reset. A tip that could help you to get better timing is to play a lot of Bedwars or Skywars game while placing a lot of blocks at once. Soon enough, this will help you to improve your timing for bridging methods such as telebridging. I'll now play some clips of how to long drag. To long drag, you want to hold the mouse with the tip of your thumb, ring finger and pinky finger. This makes it easier to move the mouse while drag clicking. You want to use a pad of your finger to drag, as this gives longer drags and more consistent CPS. Over here, every single mouse has a different pressure, so start off by dragging super light, like so, and then get and then push a little bit harder, and then harder, and then you know if it's too hard if it's not clicking at all, so just go a little lighter, and just find that one consistency in between. When it comes to drag clicking, most mice cannot drag click as well without tape. There are many reasons for this, but the most common reason is because the surface of the mouse isn't good enough. So therefore, you're most likely going to need a good gripping tape. And currently, there are many different types of tape that you can buy. The best tapes that I recommend and the most popular ones are either electrical tape, paper tape, or masking tape. Most of the time, any tape that you can find will work well, but electrical tape, paper tape, and masking tape usually give the best of results in my opinion. Electrical tape has a really good grip and it's also very popular. On the other hand, paper tape and masking tape is also pretty cheap and they both perform well. Also note that you don't have to go out and buy tape from the store. Usually any tape that you can find in your house should work fine. And there's also a way to make your own grip tape. So if you're interested in making your own grip tape, I'll link a video down below. Just as a quick disclaimer, if your mouse already has a good texture, putting tape on your mouse might ruin it and you won't be able to drag click without tape anymore. So take this to your own risk. All right, so once you have the tape that works best for you, there are two different ways of applying it to your mouse. The first way is to just stick it onto your mouse buttons, which is still a very good way to do it. But usually this depends depends on the type of tape you have. The way that I find works better is when you take a piece of tape and dab it across your mouse buttons and your fingers. This gives you a lot of friction and will definitely help you to drag click better. I also recommend you to test out both ways and see which way helps you to earn more CPS. I'll now place a few clips on the two different ways to apply tape. For this part of the video, I'll be going over how to get the best grip and some useful tips. One thing I've heard a lot of YouTubers say to do to get the proper grip is to exhale on your fingers. It sounds really weird, but for some reason, it gives you an insane grip that helps you to drag click better. So to get the best grip, first go wash your hands and dry it with a towel. Next, exhale on your finger, then dab a lot of tape onto your fingers. If you do this way, then it helps you to get an insane grip for your fingers and it helps you to drag click much better. Just note that your hand should always be dry when you drag click as it gives more friction. Another tip that I find useful is to play a few Bedwars games before you start drag clicking. Whenever I play a Bedwars game, it usually warms up my fingers which allow me to drag click better afterwards. There are also a bunch of good and extra tutorials that show you how to get the best grip, so I'll link them in the description below. When it comes to bridging methods, I first recommend you start with God Bridging or Breezley Bridging. These two bridging methods will give you a sense about timing and how to drag click. When you learn one bridging method, it will allow you to discover your own tips for possibly any other bridging method.
Alright guys, that will be the end of today's video. I hope that you learned something from this video because this video took an extremely long time to make. I would really appreciate it if you guys could drop a like and subscribe as we're getting closer and closer to 3000 subscribers. The goal for this year is to hit 4000 subscribers so hopefully we will be able to reach that goal. Just keep in mind that drag looking can somewhat be hard and you won't learn it on the first day. But just remember to keep on trying if it doesn't work out for you. And if you do have any further questions, feel free to drop a comment down below. Thank you all so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time.